Oh my. Look at that. <laughs> it keeps going up. You're maximizing 87 club speed with a seven iron. This is shocking. Today we've got the new Callaway Paradigm irons here to test in store. I've got Kevin Kraft with me as well from the Columbia store here in the Twin City. It's kind of a big deal. Uh, we're gonna test them out on TrackMan. We'll get all the information and the insight from Kevin. We'll tell you guys everything that you need to know. Golfers, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. You give this video a like, and then you tell us in the comments what you think of the new Callaway Paradigm irons. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined by Kevin Kraft today, master fitter from our Columbia store here at the Minnetonka Tour Van for the new Callaway Paradigm irons. You've got the seven iron there. Yep. Um, kind of a, a, a fun, unique twist, I think, to what Callaway is doing with the irons, because generally you see the iron kind of model that goes with their new series of products is always sort of a, I don't know if chunkier is the right word, but a little larger club head, yep. game improvement type model. Yep. Paradigm is a player's distance iron. Mm -hmm. Paradigm X is a game improvement. So new there, I think that maybe just shows the importance and the popularity of the player's distance category nowadays. Definitely, the player's distance category is, is certainly still the fastest growing yeah. category out there. Uh, and everybody's got a lot of really good fun stuff to, mm -hmm. to, to, to hit with and a lot of new stuff coming out this season. Yeah. So uh, I think Callaway maybe recognized that yeah. and said, well, let's just throw something that really looks pretty good in there. Right. And uh, mm -hmm. I'm imagining the performance is going to be right. pretty good too. I mean, Callaway irons are, they always perform. Um, and you've got kind of their distance powering technologies in there. Yep. The face cup, 455 face cup, forced yep. face. So mm -hmm. that's kind of new, maybe adding to that kind of throwing it in the player's distance category mm -hmm. uh, space there. Um, but then they've got the dual tungsten weighting there within the, the heel and the toe. So some forgiveness elements, but then you look at the shape and it's really not like a huge profile it's for, not. you know, like you, you expect a game improvement iron to be. It's, it's yeah. That's why it's in the players in this category. It's a little right. bit slimmer. Yeah. So definitely a little more compact head. Uh, top line is definitely slimmed down from what we typically see on a new, yeah. new launch in the, in the, Game improvement category. Anyway, yeah. um, I'd be really interested at some point to see how this iron fares compared to Apex Pro yeah. and the Rogue ST Pro because they all kind of fit in the same mm -hmm. general area. I haven't hit this yet. I don't know what. Yeah. I don't know what exactly it's going to do. I'm very interested to see because it's it's a nice looking right. package. Uh, I like the shape. I do tend to like Callaway player mm -hmm. iron shape. Yeah. Uh, they tend to be fairly appealing to me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, top lines maybe not quite as thin as the as the Apex Pro, but there's there's nothing in here that that you know right. turns me off. So right. And then in anybody. terms of loft, at 29 degrees in these seven iron, so it's yep. kind of I mean it does kind of fall in there. A little bit of a maybe stronger player's yes. distance iron, yes. or kind of that it's, it'd be weaker in a game improvement iron nowadays, yes. but um, definitely stronger in a player's distance iron, yeah. but still I think that, like we talked about, the the appearance and the mm -hmm. size of it definitely fits into that player's distance category. Rogue ST Pro versus this would be a good one. We'll definitely have to do that on the channel yeah. soon. One thing we're seeing here too is the the front line, the leading edge on the, the Paradigm mm -hmm. does have what, what I refer to as a killed leading edge. It's a pre-worn okay. uh, little yep. bit of edge here designed to in, enhance turf interaction. Yeah. So um, that's something that we actually saw with the Jaws uh, oh, raw sure. wedges. Yep. Uh, one of the reasons why I actually went to them. Uh, yeah. I really like that aspect. Uh, so yeah. So unfortunately today we don't have the Paradigm X to test, but we do have the Paradigm and we have Kevin Kraft here to hit the shot. So, ready to do it? Sure. All right. So, so Kevin, you got it. Uh, you got a golf ball. Yep. And you've got a golf club, Paradigm Iron. Uh, you put it down under the dress. Give me your feedback on that. Yeah. So, it it's got kind of the traditional Callaway look, which does appeal to me. Uh, the portion of the club where the where the hosel starts to enter into the into the head, I call it the crotch of the club, mm -hmm. uh, is appealing to me. I tend to like it to be fairly low with a fairly uh, steep angle yeah. up to the toe. That, for whatever reason, is what my my aesthetic is. So I've tended to like the look of of Callaway golf okay. clubs. Um, this one doesn't have a huge amount of offset, yeah. which is which is good. If you look at Callaway's game improvement clubs, they all tend to have a lot of offset to them yeah. and a big thick 
top line. That's kind of been their thing all along. If you look yeah. back at the 1996 Big Berthas, I mean, right. that was a pretty yeah. thick top yeah. line. They've stuck mm -hmm. to their guns there, so that's fine. Um, but this is a good looking iron. Um, I, again, I'm interested to see how it falls in between, you know, the Rogue ST Pro and, yeah. and the Apex Pro, because it, it's kind of, it looks to me from, a, you know, just from a, an aesthetic standpoint, it, they all kind of fall into that same general sure. area. Yeah. Loft's probably a little bit different yeah, there, so sure. I can't conjure up off the top of my head what the seven iron is on the on the S. They're definitely. Pro, but. I think it's. I, I want to say Rogue ST Pro is thirty, and I think the Apex okay. Pro is a few even. Yeah, probably thirty-two or thirty-three. Yeah, even. I think that would be about right. So this um, one's twenty-nine. Yeah. So I'm expecting some explosiveness here. Right. Yeah. Okay. It'll be probably a farther seven iron than you maybe normally hit. Probably. Mine's thirty-two. Okay. So we should see. We should see some better numbers yeah. here, some, some bigger numbers. Yep, ball speed's fast right off the bat. Yeah. Woo, 180 yards of carry. That's a little further than you used to? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's, a little bit, that's a little up there for me. Good height, good landing angle, decent spin rate. One four smash, one smash factor, 141. Folks, this is a fast face. <laughs> Even faster face. Got even faster. That is pretty. It is pretty. It's a good, uh, I mean, that's trajectory. 111 feet in the air, landing angle almost 50. I love that. Absolutely. What else love do you that. need? That's great. Oh my. Look at that. All right, so we saw a little less spin there. Still yeah. not bad. Like 49ers, not, not bad, like especially at 111 feet in the air. Yeah. But 187 yards of carry. Uh, so you're, that's about as <sighs> max. You're maximizing an 87 club speed with a seven iron because with, I mean, 187 yards carry, 87 club speed. That's very efficient. One four three smash. By the way, that felt fantastic. Yeah. Forged face is feeling good here. That was, uh, oof, man, that's some ball speed right there. Just that's, a, that's a world just, I don't live in currently. <laughs> well, it just, it just keeps going up. So I'm like, I'm excited <laughs> to see what happens here now because we're going to get to 130 or 140. I mean. Oh, it's going to be right up there. Man, those are, they're, it's all the same shot too. They are, yeah. I think. Just for fun, I'm gonna look at this. I, I, I want to keep watching you keep hitting. Like I would, I would, I would, I would watch. <laughs> That's what I tell I tell my my clients that if they start hitting like that, I'm like, oh, look, I can just watch this all day. I mean, you it's <laughs> look I mean, at the spin rate consistency. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely awesome. The one that kind of, I mean, being picky. Yeah. I want to say dove left because it didn't die, but it was like a little bit left to the others. Four nine oh four. Okay. But everything else is low five thousands. Um, pretty four sixteen here, kind of closer to the middle, but yeah. I mean, these guys are just being sent out there into orbit. But you're, you know, so even on even on the one that was that was 4900, you still have a 48.7 degree landing angle. Right. So oh, yeah. So there's no numbers problems there. Are, numbers I want to say the fine. I mean, look at the awesome 111, 111, 112 in the last Absolutely three. Absolutely awesome. How many more you got in you? I kind of want to keep watching. I can go all day. <laughs> Give me some more of them. <laughs> It keeps going up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So, so okay, give the uh, people watching. What's your? What do you normally get out of the ball speed for? Seven so, hours? sort of the golden the golden goose for me is is about 120 miles an okay. hour of ball speed. So, um, you know, I'm I typically run smash factor at around 138. Yeah. Uh, okay. Usually around a hundred feet in the air. Yeah. And about a forty-seven degree landing angle, forty-eight yeah. degree landing okay. angle, uh, 53, 5400 RPM. Yeah. And I'm pretty comfortable with those numbers. Uh, this is shocking. Yeah. Like, in a club that looks like this, to get that kind of speed and then also have that kind of feel. Yeah. This is a very good feeling golf club. Mm -hmm. It does not. It feels. It feels fast, but it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel or sound like the ball is That's, just going. So 
you know, like yeah, this, and but it is. Then the, the, the thing I was going to comment on too was, I think we actually talked about in some of the past Callaway clubs that the audio was a little bit yes. not so pleasing. Yes. And it would be like, I don't want to say clicky is the right term, but you know, it was different than- Clicky's as close It's not, a, it wasn't like that thought, it was kind of yeah. a brashy noise. Yeah. I don't hear that with this. No, this, I, this, the auditory response on this is extremely good. Uh, it sounds like a, it sounds like a player's golf club. Right. It does. And it looks like a player's golf club, yeah. but that shows you it's also a distance. Right. Golf club. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's just incredible. 126 miles an hour of ball speed. And your swing speed hasn't really changed. Either. No, you're it, in the it, 87s it every time. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's good too. You kind of want to keep it as close. To yeah. yeah. Another one. Okay, so All right, well, look at there this. we caught it. We caught a low, we caught a low spinner there. Look how right? far offline that is. I mean, <laughs> terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Zero inches. That's that ended directly on the center line. My my only. <laughs> so the spin the spin did drop. That's spin something we gotta probably yep. comment on because look how yep. far that thing is total wise. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Um, let's so see, let's see if that was an anomaly. Okay, an, just an anomaly, because that's that's the one. One thing in a player's club yeah. that we have to be aware of, right? If you look at one of Callaway's major competitors, uh, Irons, there's mm -hmm. been a, a worry, I guess, about hot spots. The hot spots about, and the jumpers. And are you going to get something that's going to like just yeah. give you that extra 15? Let's hope that was just yeah. an anomaly. Yeah. Felt fantastic. Yeah. A little thin. Okay. Didn't catch that one quite as well. Okay. Still got great numbers. Ball speed for a thin shot, thin at 139 smash factor. <laughs> um, pretty forgiving. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. that's the that's the hallmark of you know yeah. of forgiveness. Because I mean, your, your your spin was in the low 5,000s with those other shots. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, there was the one that would dove down to low 4,000. Yep. I think that was the concern. Yeah. But just because I want to see the other numbers. So this is the thin one. Yep. It's not even the highest spin shot so far. Right. So low 5,000s to maybe like this 4,900 yeah. in the high 4,000s. That's where this club is for you. Yeah. To see a thin one and the smash dropped 139, but you're still spinning it at normal. That's got to be really promising for anybody interested in the Cal Oh, Aaron absolutely. Year. For sure. I mean, we want... Player distance iron, we want to be able to fit a wide range of players yeah. into it, right? It shouldn't be just for the five and less handicappers. We should be able to include tens up, you know, into 15 yeah, handicapper, yeah. you know? So, yeah, having, being able to say, look, this iron is forgiving. Mm -hmm. you're, you're not going to see a massive drop off like you would in a blade. If I, right. if I hit a blade like that, oh, yeah. I'm going to lose a lot. Yeah. Right? So, the this... There's a lot of good, a lot of goodness coming from this yeah. iron right here. I can get this thing all day. Let's get, let's get one more. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you asked. <laughs> oh man. All right, turn this one over a little bit more. So we did see the spin drop. Let's see. Gosh. So that, so the the curve and the movement left kind of dropped the spin. You also swung it a little did. faster. Yep. Um, but it didn't drop down to that low four, like, like super low 4,000 no, from that uh -uh. other shot. Uh -uh. But that's the second ball you fit 208 yards. With a seven iron, I don't think, I mean, so here's a total. So you see these, yeah. these the two over there. Yeah. Otherwise you take, I mean, your circle gets, I'm gonna take those out just for the fun of it. So we'll see that circle actually shape up. So these are the two yeah. 208 yard ones. Yep. If we go back and look at this, I mean, you've got Pretty consistent little circle there. Pretty good. And we Even got, with we, one of those being the thin, thin one. one. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's so, amazing. That's, Absolutely amazing. I, I don't know. That's pretty good. Pretty good stuff from Paradigm. And it's and really good. It's really good. You know, I, I've been talking about it from the top too. It's also very attractive. You know, from uh, from the back yeah. uh, standpoint. I like the I like their blue with a little bit of gold touch. It's pretty simple. It's very clean. Yeah, they didn't. Uh, it's not like they tried too hard with it. They just, no. they just provided a golf club that's not too glitzy. It's got a little bit of color. It's it's it, just to identify it as paradigm. It's very nice. It very is really nice. nice. And the performance is nice too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really good.
All right, Kevin, testing complete. Paradigm <laughs> seven iron. Um, we had, that was fun. That was fun. Because you kept getting more and more surprised and like blown away. Yeah. And then you'd hit another one and then it would go even further or higher or faster. This thing's a beast. Yeah. Like it is a beast. Um, I'm, I'm impressed overall with, I think, pretty much everything yeah. about this iron. Um, you know, the stronger loft, I should hit it a bit farther. Yeah. Um, you know, average 186. That's for the carry. About 13 yards longer than yeah. what I do with mine. And so, and I, I think typically the rule roughly is about two yards for a degree of loft, roughly, two, give three, or take. Two, three. Yeah. So, depends on the, speed. With a seven iron, you know, you're going from 32 to 29, should be about eight to 10. Yeah, I roughly. Don't think so. Yeah. And you gained what, 15, 16? Yeah. yeah so, that's... there's a little bit of a, an, an extra punch packed into the paradigm iron here, but it's not a big, thick iron either. No, no. So, it, there's, <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> all you can do is laugh. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, 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 it's rather incredible. Yeah. Um, Rather incredible. It's rather it's incredible. So paradigm iron. Yeah. From what you saw, and being that it is kind of a more, I guess, a, a slimmer mm -hmm. club head design, player's distance model. What try to categorize the golfers that would fit into that iron? So down in the Columbia store. The guy that comes in that wants distance, mm -hmm. but he's got that same kind of aesthetic issue that I have yeah. where looks are really really important yeah he doesn't like that thicker top line this is i can put him into this all day long yeah. right we know that i caught one thin yeah. i didn't lose very much right so obviously there's a good amount of forgiveness in here there's a ton of technology in yep. here um this is a golf club that a lot of people can fit into and i think a lot of people can be very successful mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. and then the, the paradigm x we didn't get hit today which would have yeah. you would have sent that so far at 27, I think at 27 and a half degrees, I believe. Is I would the, expect. So that would have gone even further, but the Paradigm X now, talk about the golfer that would be the best kind of fit to play that one. So that's gonna be your 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 average golfer. You know, the yep. guy that's uh, the weekend warrior yeah. and, and the guy that's working on his game. Maybe he's got goals, he wants to get there, but he's not quite there yet. Mm -hmm. Needs that little bit of forgiveness, yeah. uh, that, that a little bit more forgiveness that this one doesn't quite have. Um, you know, there's, it looks to me like there's gonna be something in the Paradigm family for everybody. Yeah, cause it's that Paradigm X is, is, is a lot of the same technology, just yep. kind of a more hyper powered version. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just a stronger, little, bit, a little yeah. bigger, a little more forgiving, right. a little more confidence inspiring. Yeah, there you right? go. So, so um, yeah. it's more, I think what, what Larry Bob likes to say is user friendly. So yes. a little bit more user friendly yes. version of this, but yep. um, I think both are pretty user friendly and, it's all the, yeah. the, the shots today. Yeah. So This is going to make a lot of people smile. Yeah, it yeah. made you smile a few times. It did. So <laughs> the Callaway Paradigm Irons golfers, uh, really, really good feedback from Kevin Kraft today. So really excited about them in 2023. Get fit today. Schedule that at secondswing.com. You can get fit at any of our store locations or through our online team. We'll get you set up with a Paradigm Iron set that will help you play better. Hit the farther iron shots, hit more explosive iron shots, and play better and shoot lower scores. So Kevin, thank you for joining today, uh, giving your feedback. Pretty incredible awesome. stuff today. It was awesome. Yep, good stuff.